My family, what we like to do together is mostly just sit around and talk. We are a storytelling family. We also are a musical family. We are an eating family. Food is always part of the plan. We just love to be with each other, and that's kind of the most amazing thing. Why, yes. <laughs> right now, we're in my parents' apartment. I live in a studio two floors down. It's not for everyone to live so close to their parents, but it gives me a sense of safety and security as I go through this journey. When I was in school for Chinese medicine, I noticed a lump in my right breast, and I got, you know, very scared and upset, and I went to all of the naturopathic doctors, all the Chinese medicine doctors, all the conventional medicine doctors, all looked at my breasts and said, this is a fibroadenoma, you're fine. I had the mammogram and the ultrasound, and they recommended that I get a biopsy. And I basically completely shut down psychologically at that point. I was trying to get done school. I was taking all of my boards. I was under so much pressure. And I just thought, I will deal with this when I'm done all of this. It was my 40th birthday, and, and that was when I got my diagnosis of invasive ductal carcinoma. And then we did the scans, and we found out that it had metastasized to my bones as well. The oncologist, he showed me the scan of my skeleton and used the words, it's lit up like a Christmas tree with tumors. The smell of my own fear filled up the room. My parents um, are able to have really good perspective and say, let's remember that we're in the information gathering time. So let's gather the information and then, you know, we're just gonna take this step by step. For patients with metastatic breast cancer, genetic testing can be helpful for physicians to determine the best treatment to help that patient. Initially, like, I don't, I don't even care if I have genetic testing or not, like, what's the point? To me, it just is kind of very hard to wrap my mind around. If a patient does test positive for a breast cancer-related gene mutation, then first-degree family members, they each have a 50% chance to have that gene mutation. I was inwardly turned and not thinking about my family at that point and how it might affect them. When the results came back, I asked my family, I put it out there, would anybody like to come to this appointment with me? So do you guys remember when we went for the results to be revealed about my genetic testing? I remember the I, I do, I do, I remember. Yeah, what, what do you remember about it? Sitting in a small room and a very small room, <laughs> just the nice three of home. us. My family's way of dealing with stress is through humor. And so my brother and sister were, you know, cracking a lot of jokes and, you know, but they were also, I could tell they were taking it seriously, but they were also very anxious because they didn't know what to expect at all. And I think that they were worried. So there are certain ethnicities that do have a higher incidence of specific gene mutations. Um, Ashkenazi Jewish families, one in 40 individuals will carry a mutation in either BRCA1 or BRCA2. In my mind, I thought, this has to be genetic because I'm Jewish, I'm Ashkenazi Jew. I was, I think, almost a little disappointed that the results were negative because then that meant I still didn't have an answer to why this has happened to me. When people get results, they can have a variety of feelings that may be unexpected. And so sometimes people whose result is negative can be upset. Other times people who test positive 
are surprisingly comfortable with at least knowing what caused what happened to them and knowing that this information is going to help their family members. She said, you don't have the gene for the BRCA gene. Right. To you. Correct. And then we asked her, do we have to get tested? So the genetic counselor advised that they start getting yourselves in for regular um, exams. The genetics nurse counselor told you both that you should be more hyper vigilant about your screenings. Oh yeah, I am. And I know my brother, who had been putting off a lot of medical stuff for a long time, he's gotten himself to the doctor, which was kind of amazing. I have seen some families grow much closer after going through genetic testing together. Um, they're able to support each other through the process, learn more about each other, um, not only about their genetic test results, but also just who they are as people. I'm very grateful, I'm stable. My cancer is under control with metastatic breast cancer. You think about it constantly. It's always on your mind, and, and when you get a reprieve from it, it is like being on a vacation in the most glorious place in the world. Right now, I work part-time, and I have a practice where I practice acupuncture and Chinese herbal medicine and massage therapy. That is a sanctuary for me, where I get to go and nobody knows what's going on with me in terms of this diagnosis. And the focus is completely off of me and it's on other people. When I'm not at work, you can find me at the gym. Um, I am exercising regularly, much more than I used to. I also spend a lot more time with my friends and a lot of time with my family. I'm just being as stress-free as possible. Stars that you